Hello guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 10, 12 a.m. Right, 10, 12. Normally, I ring up my mum and I say, Mum, yes, it's so horrible in this flat, I will come up to yours and spend a bit of time with you because the noise is horrendous. Not today. No. And so the kids go back to school next week. Um, last night, the thumping was so loud, it made Max jump off the sofa, and it made my cat hide under the chair. Right? This is what it was like when I first moved in in 2020. I never saw Snowball, because she never came out from the furniture. What I want to know is why it started up again. It was quiet for about three or four months. Nothing. It started again. I told my housing, I said it was quiet. I didn't pursue the case because it had all gone quiet up there. And then Christmas Eve, he moves the kids in and it all starts up again. So I don't know what's going on there, um, but it's for them to find out because I'm certainly not going up there. So I had a message from George on Facebook dating this morning, how's your day going? And they know how my day is going because they ruin it every day upstairs. They know how it's going, of course they do. And the miserable my, my day, the more miserable my day is, the better it makes them feel. Um, so I'm ignoring it, I've got my music. I am basically gonna have a shower um, do some more tidying up in my flat and um, you know I <laughs> my whole life right if someone tells me off I got told off at school I didn't go and harass the teacher every day because I got told off but I mean this is ridiculous isn't it when a teacher tells you off at school for speaking when you shouldn't, do you, do you then go and harass the teacher every single day just because she told you off? No. People have got a life. They learn to, to accept criticism and they move on. Don't hold a grudge against somebody. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to cook myself something to eat. I can look after myself. I've been left alone in my flat now for over two, for, for nearly two years. So when someone says to me, you can't look, look after yourself, I'm going to put you in a care home, A, that doesn't make sense because nobody's looked after me for two years. No one's done anything to help me whatsoever. And uh, two, I'm not elderly. I'm not an old age pensioner, right? And twice I've been called Jennifer by certain members of my family, and I'm not Jennifer. Jennifer's 75 and I'm 53, right? And I know the dates, I know the time, I know where I am, and I certainly know what I'm doing, right? So you're all, that doesn't wash with me any, anymore, right? If you want to get at my mum, get at my mum. Don't do it through me, right? And that goes for everybody that's got some part in, in this, right? Some members of my family have said, Jennifer, I'm going to put you in a care home. A, right, I'm not elderly. I'm not even 60 yet. Two, my name ain't Jennifer. Right, so you can get that. I mean, I've got my birth certificate in that drawer. It says 1968. It doesn't say 1946. Right. And I'm going to show you I'm in Rochester, not in Chatham. These are new build flats. People still can't find them on their sat nav because they're new.
a bit strange since she's been in the dog pound. I don't know what happened to him in the dog pound. <laughs> but every dog now he barks at every single dog. Or every anything. <laughs> that is stressful as well. He keeps following me everywhere. He won't let me go out of his sight because ever since he's been in that dog pound. Of course, I, I don't know what a dog pound's like. I, I really don't. So I don't know what happened to him. Only he can know what went on in there. He can't tell me. Um... I don't know. I don't know what to say, but every day is the same. If I go and sit on a bench, I get a ball kicked at me. Within five minutes of, of sitting quietly on a bench, someone, someone will come over and start trouble. I can't even sit down on a bench and eat a sandwich and drink by myself. I mean, it's ridiculous. This is really stupid. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I told you I went up to my mum's, I walked mats and, and dogs, a uh, couple of kids started kicking the dog near Max's head. I mean, it's just unsafe to go outside. 